Welcome to Awakening You channel. If you appreciate what we do, please support us. Thank you. Dear ones. I am Archangel Michael. Before many people start thinking why I'm not going to finish the 8th procedure today. We are at the end of a week, and in the middle of a very interesting subject. So we'll talk about it early next week. You end up gaining 3 more days to finish everything. Very good. Continuing our story. Then beings of very low vibration arrived here on your planet. They managed to deceive you with technologies, with many things, and that's how the whole process began. As I said yesterday, and left you in thought, how was this all seen by our Father or Mother God? How was all this allowed to happen by our Father or Mother God? My brothers, nothing is done without purpose, everything has a purpose, and all of these beings, even the beings that emanate these low vibrational feelings, have the divine spark. As you often say, you are children of God. No one is less loved or more loved by our Father or Mother God. No, do not be perplexed, God loves everyone equally, because everyone is a piece of himself. How could he not love them? Would he stop loving a piece of himself? So my brothers, the divine law is freedom, it is allowing feelings to be experienced in depth, it is allowing feelings to be fully ingrained in your minds, and in your souls, as part of its evolution. I've already said it here and I'll say it again, the evolution of a soul takes place precisely in overcoming these feelings, in knowing how to live with them, and overcome them one by one, not letting yourself get caught up in them, not allowing yourself to be manipulated by these low vibration feelings. So, it's as if this planet became one big school. No, an evil school, not a school where only evil beings were generated. Let's try to put things another way. I ask all of you a very important question, if these beings that arrived here were so evil, were so evil, had so much strength, what would this planet be like today? I would tell you that you would no longer exist, because you would destroy each other. The total lack of love would already be installed in everyone's hearts. And that's what happens? Do you all resonate, 24 hours in your time, bad feelings, evil feelings? All of you? Of course not. So this so-called clash, between good and evil, which has always been propagated among you, exists, but not within two entities of the same power, as you were led to believe. Evil by itself does not exist, what exists are the feelings that emanate from the hearts of each of you. And you become beings, as you usually say, of evil, when you emanate a greater percentage of bad feelings, to the detriment of the good ones, and you become beings of good, when you emanate more high vibrational feelings. But I've also said, no one is 100% good, and no one is 100% bad. So my brothers, this is the great truth. This planet became a school planet, where many souls were brought here to learn, to evolve, how to get out of these low vibration feelings. When we say that these beings who arrived here created an energy network around your planet, which prevented communication with the above, this, let's put it this way, is not 100% true, because if it were, all of you today would only emanate the bad. The good feelings, the feelings of love and kindness, continued in their hearts. And yes, you had contact with the source, you never lost it, because you have the divine spark inside. So you never lost touch with source, only you lost your powers to communicate with the high dimensions. So when we say that you lost contact with us, this is true, because we, from the highest dimensions, were no longer able to reach you, due to the shielding that was done on your planet. Then many will think, but wait, you don't have powers, couldn't you have eliminated that? What I just told you, this planet has become a school planet, where you had to learn to live with these feelings and evolve. Here it became a great university of feelings, where these beings were supposedly their teachers of evil magic, but you also had teachers of good magic. 
so you learned all the lessons. It's as if you had to choose the career you would follow. Would you go for the good, or would you go for the bad? Let's not impute everything bad to these beings, because you also have many good things on your planet. So realize my brothers, nothing is so much there, nothing is that much here. Yes, they resonated low vibrational feelings. I may even say that they are, in some cases, totally devoid of love, because inside their minds, what matters is control, what matters is maintaining those low vibration feelings. And how do you maintain those low vibrational feelings? Through fear. Fear is one of the most powerful feelings, and it keeps you always vibrating low. So that's what they provoke, fear. The implants were so that they would have control over you, because otherwise, they would end up losing control of your planet, because good always wins. High vibrational feelings always win. That's what I'm tired of telling you, your planet isn't totally bad. If you look for beneficial things that are being done on your planet, you will find a lot of good things, lots of beautiful things, a lot of people with good feelings, emanating this and managing to change their surroundings. So they don't have 100% power. They never had. Stop to think. If they had 100% power, you wouldn't be here anymore, you would have already destroyed yourselves. Yes. There were times on your planet when they almost destroyed themselves, you almost destroyed yourselves through so many wars that were fomented by them, in the name of religions. But you reacted. Those beings who continued to vibrate only light, only love, always managed to overcome themselves, they always managed to fight back, they always managed to maintain a balance. So there is no such power. The great power they did was just create this shield so that you wouldn't have access to what? Everything you already knew, because if you remembered the powers you had, you would destroy that shield. So you had to forget, you had to be shielded in some way, and that's what they did. They shielded their planet, and then these feelings, which began to be, to a certain extent, superimposed on feelings of good, began to prevail on their planet. And that's where your planet dropped down the dimension, because those feelings no longer resonated with the fifth, and you fell into the third. And there you are to this day. But stop and think, their power is not all the power they made you believe. The only real power they had was this shielding, so that you couldn't reach the high dimensions. This is true. Furthermore, good has always been in balance on this planet. Stop to think about it. Evil sometimes seems to be winning, it seems, because they make you believe that they are winning, but they are not. As time went by, the beings of light, you who already came from high dimensions, managed to remain on the planet, and increasingly maintain the balance between good and evil. So everything that is propagated, that good always wins, is the purest truth. Good always prevails. High vibrational feelings always prevail. So that's how it all started. Next week, I will start a new story, which is exactly why, and the liberation of your planet. How did it happen? How this whole process was put to an end, and how the preparation began for you to get out of it all. It is as if the university that was created had its days numbered. Many beings passed here, many beings arrived. Beings from various parts of the universe who had been banished from their planets, precisely because they vibrated low vibrations, came here. To learn. To learn balance, not as a punishment. No one came here punished, there is no punishment, there is evolution. So many came here, so they could learn how to live with these low vibration feelings, and maintain the high ones. So this is the main objective of this course to make you learn, make you experience all these feelings, so that one day you will evolve. And this is the path you are following. Remember, you are in that phase, outside the photon belt, where everything remains as it is. You descended to Tercera and are there until the present moment. 
But how did this all start for the liberation, for the modification, of the things that are happening there? Next week you will understand. So my brothers, there is no subjugation of you by the Dark Ones, there is a coexistence in balance, where sometimes they win the battles, sometimes good also wins. So not all of you are dominated by them, not all of you go over to their side. Some pass, others don't. And everything that was done to you, the placement of implants, of chips, was just for control, so that you are manipulated by them, through fear, so that you start to see the world as a bad thing, so that you will not see the grace in good things. This is the objective of each implant, of each chip, that is placed, keep you in this low vibration atmosphere, because otherwise you will lose power, they lose the power to manipulate you. Then a new story will begin next week. I want you to stay here with this thought, that there was never a victory for the dark, there was always a balance, where each time one prevailed, but there was always a balance. And that you are going through a great course of learning, to reach the evolution that you are going to make now. So think about it. And then once again I say to you, don't blame yourself for anything. Realize that you continued acting exactly with what you had. You continued to be good beings, you have not changed, and there you are now. Each one of you who is here, at this moment, listening to what I say, and resonating with me, is one of those inhabitants who came from outside, and who have already walked the high dimensions, that's why you can feel my energy today. So you have always resonated with me. So here we are, all together once again, and then, this is part of the next story. I am Archangel Michael. I'm here trying to show you that many things are not what they seem. That everything was a big manipulation of history to make you feel small and annihilated, but you were always strong and courageous, so much so that you are here now, otherwise none of this would be happening.